is a structure uh, which was uh, erected at the beginning of 19th century. Uh, it has a uh, very important uh, historical value for, for us, so uh, it's uh, the reason why the monitoring was applied uh, in the structure. Uh, the important dates regarding the structure are as follows. Uh, it was erected at the beginning of 19th century, uh, around middle of 19th century, the fortifications were built around the structure, and then it was entered in the Registry of Monuments at the year uh, of the beginning of the Second World War. Uh, at the top you see the status of the structure around 1850. At the bottom is the current state of the structure. The structure, the following uh, parameters characterize the geometry of the structure. It's uh, 80 meters at base diameter. Diameter of the viewing platform at the top is uh, 8 meters. It's uh, 34 meters high and there's very steep slopes of 40 to 60 degrees. And that's one of the reasons why we have a problem with this structure, because uh, when we had a very uh, wet summer, let's say, so 1997, the structure failed uh, in a very uh, dangerous manner. Uh, so it almost had to be rebuilt from about a third from the top to the top. Uh, why so? Because of, uh, in part, at least uh, because of ge ge geology, or the properties of the soils which were used to, to create the mound. Uh, it's made of very mixed types of soil. Uh, on top of limestone, uh, there is a subsoil layer and then silts and clays, which are very sensitive to uh, water content. And then non-cohesive soil uh, at the top of the structure. Uh, so uh, when it was uh, undergoing the rebuilding, let's say so, uh, after the failure, it was decided to uh, have a very developed uh, structural health monitoring system uh, to put into place. Uh, because of the continuous degradation of the structure, difficult conditions regarding the material and the slopes, uh, not fully effective repairs, uh, lack of uh, documentation until 2012, and uh, only surface observations existing until the 2012. Uh, so, until 2012, uh, the following obs uh, observations were made, only the displacement were measured at certain points with the registered displacement shown uh, here in color. So the biggest displacements were in the range of half a meter, the smallest less than uh, 50 millimeters. Uh, and this is the history of uh, displacement at the denoted points uh, in the time uh, period of 2002 to 2014 uh, with measurements additional detailed measurements uh, at four uh, indicated points uh, on the surface of the, of the structure. Uh, the structural monitoring system uh, had been installed after the failure with a number of sensors connected to the data logging system and used to continuously measure the selected values which are important from the structural point of view. Uh, humidity and temperature in several points are measured, the water pressure and water temperature inside the uh, structure, vertical displacements as well as horizontal displacements are measured in those points, located uh, as you can see in this uh, top view of the structure with vertical displacements uh, measured on certain level, uh, several levels at the same point uh, on certain depths of the structure. Here are the locations. Horizontal displacements and temperature and humidity measured at indicated points. Uh, here you see uh, some uh, pictures from the installation of, of the devices used to monitor the structure. Water pressure in ground pores uh, were uh, measured as well in order to be able to more, uh, in more to, to, uh, know the soil conditions in more detailed manner as uh, the soil, the water pressure inside the uh, ground pores is very important from the geotechnical modeling point of view for uh, our considered object. So this additional photos, uh, additionally mo meteorological monitoring was uh, uh, played uh, in form of rain gauge, anemometer and pyranometer which measures uh, the sun light <coughs> intensity on the structure. This is to measure uh, accurately uh, water content in the soil. 
and to help uh, to predict this uh, water level in the soil in order to know better what the situation uh, may be uh, with respect to our structure. Uh, here you can see the results of the measurements uh, at those indicated points, uh, which are the changes in layer thickness for a time span between 2013 and 2015. Some part of measurements missing uh, at the indicated line. And changes in base height at the same points. Changes in uh, soil layer th thicknesses at the same points again with initial configuration and decrease and increase of layer thicknesses because decrease as well as increase in layer thicknesses occurred in our structure during the monitoring period indicated here which is a little bit more than a year here. Water pressure in time plus the temperature measurements uh, which you can see here are quite regarding the water pressure are quite stable Temperature, of course, changes due to the seasonal change in, uh, in uh, sun action and sun irradiation. Uh, horizontal uh, displacement at the indicated points. And uh, precipitation in terms of rain, snow and fog. Uh, of course, the rain is the, the most important factor because the last several winters in Krakow were uh, characterized with very li little snow or low snow fall but the rains from time to time are quite intensive. Uh, wind direction, which may be not so uh, very important for our structure, but it's also measured and monitored and recorded. <coughs> Sun radiation, uh, which changes, of course, due to seasonal changes in the sun activity. Uh, so that's the available data. The data is uh, gathered uh, on by, by an automatic system and is available uh, online, so there is no problem with access to the data. And the uh, first conclusion which may be drawn uh, from this data gathering is that the rainfall is the greatest danger for, for our structure, uh, especially uh, long duration of and low intensity or very high intensity uh, rainfall in the short duration. And uh, also the observations made so far indicate that the deformation begins at the ceiling of the limestone, so at the basis of the mound and is very irregular due to the nature of the soil uh, used to, uh, to create the mound. Uh, additionally, this uh, effect is uh, made more dangerous because of, uh, because of this irregular soil distribution. The mound tends to tilt mostly in the easterly direction. As this is a national monument, uh, of course, uh, there is not a question whether, whether to do something, but when to do something, and when act to minimize the cost. So for the structural health monitoring, the first question would be, uh, we expect uh, at least two things. Uh, first one is better uh, information to model the soil in action during the forecast life of, of the structure, but or the ability to monitor or to calculate using computer simulation to calculate better the, the results. That's the first thing. And then the second thing is quite obvious also, so is when to act to minimize the cost uh, of the action, because the monitoring system I don't think will be uh, an additionally developed during the incoming time. It's, it's as is, but we should do the things we want to do, and we should, do, we, we should use the data available uh, to make the most out of this data, and this would be just to keep the structure up, get the structure kept in the well, sta well shape, uh, preserved at the lowest cost uh, possible. Thank you. That's true. How would you then quantify that? It's a kind of infinite value, right? You I wouldn't dare to quantify that, uh, that, and that's why I say that's not a question whether to do, some, uh, to do something or not to do something, but when to do something to minimize the cost. Uh, because of the historical value, of course, sooner or later something will be done to keep the structure in, well, in a good shape, well preserved for the next generations.
<laughs> How to say the value of the scanner in well, it's, it's a similar thing to find the value of, say, let, let's say, Mona Lisa painting. It's one only and unique. It's a, it's a different discussion. We have uh, much more uh, well, problems to solve today. So therefore, I would like to uh, leave. thank you again. And please, uh,